On this Two Cent Tuesday, I'm going to talk about the Food Saver Sealer. So my parents bought me this Food Saver for Christmas this past year, and I absolutely have loved this thing. And the thing that I love about it is, like, today I went to Publix, and they had this chicken, buy one, get one free. So it was $12 for all this chicken. I normally would have just had to stick it in Ziploc bags and I would have had to eat it before it got frostbite on it. But now I can just seal it up in my food saver, put it in the freezer, and I don't have to worry about it. It's also great I seal my cheese in this as well. And just so you know, the food saver is not for just sealing the food saver bags. This chicken here, I had cut the top off and it didn't have a place like to seal it back. So I just seal these. I don't try to air lock them or like whatever because it doesn't seem to like suck the air out of it. But I just put it in there and tell it to seal them. Now I'm gonna kinda show you just the general about using it. And if you need to know more, you may wanna go check out some other YouTube channels because I just seal bags. Now it has this vacuum seal here. And it has these food saver bags like this. So like you can put your chicken or whatever in and then you set it down and you put this on top of this and you push accessory and it sucks all the air out of this. It says on here marinade. So I guess like if you wanted to marinate something and put it in here and seal it up, you could do that as well. But you can also buy like attachments. So if like if you like to can food. You can put canned goods in there and seal, vacuum seal that as well. So typically what I end up doing, you can buy pre-cut bags or you can buy it by the roll. Now I buy it by the roll and just seal each one as it comes out. I just feel like it's more cost effective. Also, I just buy a generic brand and they work great. I can't tell anything different between the Food Saver brand that came with it and these generic ones. I'm going to show you a little trick that I didn't know this did. I found out later. I don't read the manual. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm gonna show you how I cut each bag. So what you do is in here is the bags. You can see my roll of bags up under there. So the whole roll of bags is in there. And then you have, this is like sticking out like right there from where I had just cut my last one. What you do is you flip, flip this down, lock it, and it's showing that it is sealing that bag because I would cut it, seal it. <laughs> I had way too many extra steps. All right, the light is off. That means I can just unlock it and you can see it is sealed. Now it is pulled out a little further than it normally would be. That's because I was trying to show you where the bags were. So then you just pull the bag down and it shows like small, medium, it has different sizes. So you just cut what size you want. Now you wanna make sure that you have enough room for all your stuff in here and give enough room for it to go into the sealer. So once you kind of get an area, you just cut that and now you have a pre-made bag. All right, let's grab some chicken. I'm gonna throw a couple of chicken breasts in here and then we're gonna show you how I seal it. Now I take my pre-sealed bag and this is just the thing that I've learned, so I don't have to keep washing my hands each time. I take a pair of tongs, I can get them out, and then I just drop my chicken down in there. And then I'm gonna just put two pieces in this one. All right, so I have that in here. It has a dry or a moist food. This is gonna be a moist food. And then all you do, let's see, ah, trying to get you back far enough. So then what you do is you stick this in here, up like that, and then you just press with your fingers and then it sucks all the air out of it. It seals, then it quits when it gets all the air out of it and it seals the bag. That's it, my chicken is sealed. When I take a Sharpie, I write today's date on there so I know when I sealed this, and then I go stick it in the freezer. I really enjoy this food saver. Like I said, I seal a lot of stuff, and you don't have to do just the bags. 
The hardest thing that I've had with it is getting it in the right spot so that it can vacuum seal it. But you're just gonna have to play with it to get that feel where it needs to be to make sure that it works properly. But that's really the only thing that I say I don't really like about it is sometimes I'll put it in there and it, it won't seal the bag. Like it'll just keep sucking and then it never does anything. These are um, on our Amazon. They run about 175 and I'll put a link to Amazon in the description. And then the bags, you can get all kinds of prices on bags because you get different sizes. All right, I'm going to uh, pack all this chicken up. An easy way is just to seal a bunch of bags to start with and then start putting the chicken and sealing them after that. That way you can just keep it going and you don't have to stop each time to seal another bag at the bottom. I don't keep my food saver on the counter all the time. What I do is I put it on the counter if I've got like a big project, like what I'm doing with the chicken breast and I've got a lot to do. I keep it in my laundry room, which is my pantry too. And it has a shelf that it sits on and I just walk in there and seal stuff as I need. I hope you enjoyed this Two Cent Tuesday. And if you enjoyed this one, you might wanna check out this video about an air fryer. If you would hit the like button and subscribe, that would be awesome as well. Till next time, like and subscribe.